This is such a fun time. This one I'm super excited about. What's up, fellow dirt ears? So we're in Traverse City, Michigan. Oh my goodness, it's so tight here. <laughs> I could have gotten into the site back there, but there was a car there. Nobody was home to move the car. So now I'm navigating through these insanely tight. Oh my goodness. I mean, if their mirrors weren't in, I wouldn't have made that. All right, so we went to one turnaround. I couldn't make the turn. So now I'm looking for a second turnaround. Definitely missed the airstream right now. I finally got all the way around the campground to try to come in the opposite way for this site. We're trying to make it a pull through even though it's a back end basically. Oh my goodness, it's so tight. So never in my life have I been so frustrated <laughs> getting into a site, even our home base, which is frustrating. Like that's like good practice for us when we get out like this, but man. So I don't know if that's a preview of things to come. The last two state parks we've done have been very interesting as far as navigating with this rig and getting into those state parks, but I wouldn't doubt this probably won't be the last time that, uh, that yeah, 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 yeah. we got some navigating to do and some tightness in these state parks. You, you little mad scientist, aren't you with his hair? Uh... Because <laughs> I mean, they show you, and they showed for this one, they showed the campsite, and I was like, man, that is huge. That'll be easy. But you don't, you just don't know what's required in the area to get to that campsite. But I mean, they're doing construction this year, and like, so there's, oh goodness, I don't know, I think there's like 400 sites here, and there's probably 100 sites ish over there, not even done from construction yet. And so the campground would be kind of crowded, anyways. But now it's like extra hard to get in here because you got so many sites that aren't even open right now. area which I knew hiking there's biking you can float down the Platte River there's um, historic town Glen Haven so you've got the sleeping bear area and then you've got the two islands so it's called sleeping bear there's a legend that a mama bear and her two cubs got hungry in like a Wisconsin Lake so they started swimming and her cub grew tired and sank and then the other cub grew tired and sank and then the mom made it and got up on top and looked out and then her cubs emerged as islands is the sleeping bear dune legend I was expecting something a little more happy yeah well. <laughs> but um you want to make a new one? Tell them to rewrite it. Yeah, I'll rewrite this story. It usually... They Are you about to cry? <laughs> oh, no. You ready to climb that? No. <laughs> at least it's not one I had to show up at the Manitou Incline in no. Colorado Springs. No, that, that one looked way more... And this is intimidating, but that looked way more intimidating. <laughs> it's kind of a fitness challenge to climb <laughs> this old washed out railway. How much of a fitness challenge is it? Uh, it says extreme. <laughs> what does that mean? We got it a says, two year old on our back. It, the incline gains over 2,000 feet of elevation in about a mile. Are you turning around? I'm checking on something. I'm oh. <laughs> I check, I'm checking on something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were already giving up. You want to climb that dude? Yeah. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Alright kid. 
Here you go. There you go. You gonna do it, buddy? Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, go. That's right. Come on. So this is the dune climb. But you can also do a dune hike, which is like a little over three miles, but you can go to the water. It's 2.9 more than we want to do. So. Yeah. We would love to do that. It looks absolutely beautiful and it's strenuous and you know I love those kind of things. But with the kiddos, we're going to stick with this climb that looks, <laughs> it looks enough for them. There's something about sand. It's like you take a step forward and you go half a step back. But so far it's been about 15 minutes and we've, uh, <laughs> we've gone like <laughs> not far. <laughs> Come on, bud. You can do it. There you go. Let's get our steps in. There you go. Are you going to crawl it, Hensley? You definitely want to do this early in the morning. It's not right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but not only does it get super busy, but the sand gets extremely hot on your feet. It's bearable <laughs> right now, but... You can do it! <laughs> you got it, Hensley? No. <laughs> this is why we didn't do the uh, almost four mile hike, so... Yeah. You know what's going to be the cool part? What? We get to run all the way down though. Getting close. Just over that hill. Unless it's a mirage. I wish I was JJ. I wish I was JJ too. Feel the burn. Oh, I love the burn. We love it, don't we, Hens? Yeah. Oh, we just love that means we get ice cream later. Ooh. Ooh. I love the burn. Did JJ the burn. just say ooh? Yeah. <laughs> Views everywhere. That's the way to do it. <laughs> oh, look, it just keeps going and going. That is awesome. Worth it? Let's go this way. Yeah, definitely be worth it eating that ice cream later. <laughs> All right, Hensley, here's the fun part. Are you ready? Uh -huh. We get to run down the hill. That hill? <laughs> you want to do it? Sure. Do you want to hold this? Sure. Ah! <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> And we're going, going down, a, running down a hill. <laughs> the dunes, the dunes. I love the burn too, Dad. It's what you feel when you go uphill. And especially we're going down the dunes. Ow. You okay? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah. gear and lunch gear out the wazoo for this so I've got, I've got all, all kinds of stuff on my back oh this is a beautiful one here oh my goodness wow this is pretty isn't it Hensley look at this one this is Glen Harbor historical village and so they have like a little beach area down here so you get to see the history there's like a heritage trail so cool. I love when something has history attached to it. That's why I love the idea of like if you can RV in one of these two RV parks they've got like here like so awesome. You can just hop on your bike and start riding around and seeing this stuff. Epic. But that's also why it's so hard to get into an RV park like this in Michigan. Now I probably would have normally have not said yes to a picnic on the beach because even though it sounds great like you you inevitably always end up eating sand at some point. Oh we're still eating sand. Well. Just because our kids are so sandy. <laughs> Maybe less sand this way, but we have definitely upped our beach game for Michigan. So we went from, um, that was our beach game over there, that towel. <laughs> Literally like Indiana sand dunes, that's all we have is a towel. And we watched up and saw the Axis family with their giant tent and their chair. We basically copy them, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, buddy. Oh no. This is why I'm not a huge, I just, the grit, the, oh. I love that you. I love that you love me. Or do you just love my food? 
We love my food, okay. <laughs> the water is like crystal, like it looks crystal like clear and it's still, here. it's crazy. Is this Lake Michigan or is this something else? What's this? Where are we at? We're right We're sleeping bear. here. My sandwich is here. Nobody wants to see your sandwich. Glen Haven Historic. So, so, it's, so it's the bay. It's the Manitou Passage. Sleeping Bear okay. Bay. But it is a part of Lake Michigan. Look at you. What in the world is this? Fancy. <laughs> Tuna and avocado. You just want it because somebody else has it, huh? You want to try it? Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> so Hensley and I are going on a hike. Yeah. Just us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Girls time. <laughs> I got a message this week on Instagram that was asking me what it's like traveling with kids. <laughs> and I told them, wow, that is a very, it's a very long and complex answer. But short answer would be, <laughs> you have to be flexible. Things are just different as far as the things we would be doing. But it's it's hard. It's just hard being a parent and raising kids, even if you're in your home. So why not be out doing epic things together as a family? So lots of pros and cons. But look at this time we're getting together. I'm just never going to... We're looking for number three. That's right. We're never going to get this time back. And yeah, it's been a challenging day. We've had to... We've had to work around nap times. <laughs> you know, it took a lot to pack lunch, pack beach stuff. I couldn't Look, imagine it's... raising my kids any other way. <laughs> as crazy as this life is. The smallest things are amazing and I love seeing the world through their eyes. Makes me not take anything for granted. <laughs> that looks like sleeping bear dunes right there. One day we'll, we'll get to hike that when you and JJ are a little bit bigger. So you just take this short hike through the woods and it opens up onto this bluff overlooking the dunes and the water. It's incredible. Was it worth the hike? Yep. Oh man. We made it from our hike. You did awesome, Hen. Top five. I guarantee Nathan's sleeping. <laughs> so I did wake up for the ice cream. <laughs> We're rewarding ourselves with ice cream. JJ's waking up. Are you in a good mood or a bad mood? Got a mask. I got the kids. I got the shoes. This is so much more complicated this route. <laughs> Not just a mood. We got JJ. He's growing and changing and then all this stuff going on too. And there's the line. There it is. Oh, oh, you about lost it. So I don't think I did Michigan right. I get a lot of pressure when there's long lines and you don't get a lot of time to look at it. But apparently, I had read before I came that Michigan is pretty much, okay, is the inventor of Superman ice cream. And Hensley loves Superman ice cream and I meant to get it and I forgot. So Traverse City is the cherry capital of the world. And I wanted to get something cherry and I failed at that too. But I came out with quite a bit. There's cherries anyway. on that at least. There are cherries on that, so it is the cherry capital. There you go. So you ended up getting what? Pistachio? Pistachio and coconut, yeah. I don't know. Now JJ mm. makes sound effects and everything over here. It's mm. uh, way more. Uh, how's that, JJ? Mm. Homemade ice cream. That's homemade? Mm hmm. Like they have their own cows, or what does that mean? Yeah, they sell milk in there too. Oh, they literally have their own cows? Well, I didn't see the cows, but Did, they, they sell happy milk. cows? They taste pretty happy. So they milk their own cows? I don't know if um, they milk them. Well, what does homemade mean? They make their own ice cream and they get local milk. I don't know if they actually own and milk the cows oh, daily. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that. Wow, you get a viewing area of the cows <laughs> they milk? I just don't know how I feel about being able to to see my cow as I eat the ice cream, but it doesn't get much more fresh than that, right? Especially since you you smell the cow. <laughs> hey, JJ, what's a cow say? <laughs> <laughs> Which is delicious, so thank you guys for your recommendations to check this place out.
you're in the cherry capital of the world, you have to pick a cherry. And when they say, oh, well, we are waiting on the pies because they're so hot we can't box them, you wait. So, <laughs> wow. A cherry crumb pie. Oh my goodness, babe, what have you done? I know. And then I asked her what her favorite things were chocolate covered cherries. And this one I'm super excited about. Cherry salsa for what? tacos. <laughs>